Moving on to task DB3, it goes on to say Sami has stored details of sales of team shirts in the database. The stock table contains details of the shirts available. The sale table contains a list of the shirts sold. The player table is linked to the team table and the sale table. Okay. The stock table is linked to the sale table. Okay. So uh, they're explaining to us how the relationship has been created over here. Uh, let's go in order what they're asking. They say to open a new document and we're supposed to enter these details and we're also supposed to save the document as task DB3. So going back to my folder, right click new word document and it's supposed to be saved as task DB3. Do that and then directly go to the footer, right to the bottom, double click in the footer and type task DB3, your name, candidate number, center number. That's done as well. Okay, then the question goes on to say, display the relationship diagram for the database on the screen. Now, in this particular paper, the data, the relationship has already been created for you, okay, which makes your work a lot easier. So what we do is we come to access and we come to database tools and we have this option called relationships. So when you click on relationships, you can see how the tables have been connected to each other. Let's make them all visible. This little bit, that's it, and uh, somewhere here. So you can clearly see how your tables have been connected over here. Okay, and then the question paper goes on to say, take a screenshot of the relationship diagram. So using the print screen button on your keyboard, you can come take a screenshot of it. Okay, if your print screen button is not working, you also have the option of using this snipping tool. You just type it in start, and you can click on this, and you can say new. Okay, and take an entire screenshot of everything visible on the screen and then just come into Microsoft Word. You can say paste, control, V. Okay, so there your screenshot is paste, is over there. Then uh, moving on <coughs> to save this, uh, question paper then goes on to say, uh, paste the screenshot. Okay, resave task DB3. That's done as well. And, and then it goes on to say, do not print at this stage. In document task DB3, identify the primary key in the relationship between the player table and the team table. So between the player table and the team table, what is the primary key we are supposed to identify between player and team? Okay, so between player and team, you can see the primary key will be team ID. Okay, there are two primary keys. One is player ID and the other one is team ID. We can identify any one of them. Okay, so it's always better to identify the primary key that is connecting to the other table so it is team id which is connecting to player table so it will be better if you can identify this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw an arrow towards it insert shapes take an arrow and draw an arrow towards team id something like that okay and then i can come to draw text box it's also available in the insert tab uh, and you can say over here this is the primary key Okay, so let's make it bold, control B. Okay, that looks better, control E to center it. Okay, so you have labeled it well. Yeah, make sure you have properly labeled it. Okay, next question goes on to say, explain why the relationship, uh, relationship between the team table and the player table is one to many. So if you zoom into this picture again, you would notice that the type of relationship between the team table and the player table is one to many. Can you see one here and infinite here? We call it many. So the reason a one to many relationship is being used is because one team can have many players inside them. Okay. So that's going to be our answer. We can simply put the question, just double click over here and put the cursor. Let's double click over here and put the cursor. Uh, I can say the uh, one to many relationship, a uh, one to many relationship exists between the team and player table because one team can consist of many players. Okay. Is one team can consist of many players. So then the question goes on to say, resave task uh, DB3, uh, DB3, do not print at this stage. Okay, let's resave it. And let's move on. It goes on to say, Sammy wants a list of the male players who have bought a large shirt. So if you look over here, right now we are dealing with two criteria: male players who have bought a large shirt. 
So the list should show the following fields in this order. There is also a sorting to be done. So let's first create the query from the link table. So when they say link table, they're supposed to be using multiple tables. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and say create query design. And I'm going to go with all four tables. Okay, press shift and select all four. Say add. So I have my fields over here. And then the uh, question paper goes on to say, um, what are the fields I need? Team name, last name, first name, email. Team name, let's make this full. Team name, last name, first name. Last name, first name. And then goes on to say email, sale date, email. Ravi is email, email is over here. Sale date is over here. And then goes on to say color, gender and size. Color, gender is over here and size is over here. Okay, so fields coming from various tables have been brought together. Okay, and then the question paper goes on to say the first criteria was what? Um, list of male players. So the gender, the, the male criteria will be coming inside the gender field. So we come over here. We do not type male. We type M. Okay, because in the player table, if you look over here, for males we type M, for females we type F. So typing male completely would be wrong. Instead, you should be typing M. And uh, the next thing they said was large shirt. So the large criteria is going to be coming inside the size field. Okay, so do we type the entire word large or do we type L? I've got to check it from the size table. So let me open the, uh, not size table, sorry, stock table. Let me open the stock, stock table and see, yeah, they put the entire word large. So let me type the entire word over here, large, okay. That's typed as well. Uh, there is no other criteria. Do not forget the sorting, alphabetical order of last name within alphabetical order of team name. Okay, so uh, get team name, team name into ascending order. Then we get last name into ascending order. They said ascending order, right? Alphabetical order means ascending order. Okay, so if everything is done, then we can just go on to click, go to the design tab and click on run. So this is the query that has been, that has been generated based on the two criteria. And uh, how are we supposed to save this? Save the query as DB3B. So we click on save and we save it as DB3B and say okay. So you can see your query has appeared over here. Then the question paper goes on to say, paste a copy of your results into task DB3. Make sure that all results from task DB3 are displayed and are easy to read. Okay, so once again, click over here, right click, copy, come to task DB3, bring the cursor down, control V to paste it. So I think everything is visible. Just check size, yes, the whole thing is visible. And then the question paper goes on to say, resave task DB3 and then print task db3 okay